Hello, IGN. My name is Jose Otero. I am here with Brendan Graber. How you doing? And we are playing Alone With You, which is a uh, one-man jam, as I like to call it. A Benjamin Rivers joint. The one-man uh, pajama. Yes. Uh, this is a developer who has created... Uh, prior to this, he made a, a horror indie horror game that got uh, some attention called Home. Now he's making a game for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. It comes out on... August 23rd, 2016. Sorry, I lingered on that screen a little too long. But this is, along with you, a sci-fi romance adventure, which is not... That's an interesting combination. To... Yeah, no, totally. But it is totally in the style of uh, sort of your adventure game, CD-ROM classic. So we're going to play the first 15 minutes just to okay. give you sort of a, a taste of what it is. Uh, none of the dialogue is spoken. This is completely, you know, sort of leaning on very specific uh, sort of visual cues, like old school style graphics. Um, yeah. Really cool sprite work. I love what they did with sprite work here. Yeah, the sprite work is very, rem it reminds me a lot of uh, uh, the old uh, Sierra and LucasArts adventure games, kind of like uh, Space Quest, uh, which was kind of a more funnier take on sci-fi. And then uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis were some of my favorite adventure games growing up. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this is like very similar sprite work, a little more colorful. Uh, so it, it has been upgraded since since oh, the yeah. years of the, the 80s and 90s. Yeah, I love uh, the mix of uh, sp specifically graphics and the style they went for, and the music. The music I find as a, a cool ambient touch. So you are a mysterious survivor, um, and it's like a robot man. I see a couple names in the credits. So this was wasn't only Benjamin, but uh, still. Benjamin, uh, Benjamin artist. 2, Benjamin 3, Benjamin 4. <laughs> there we go. Benjamin yep. 5. Um, but I always like uh, games, too, that have that kind of ambient, like just like an opening that has credits rolling and you're kind of figuring out what to do. All right, so this, is, this is very adventure style. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're in the uh, command ship now. So we are on a planet that things did not go well. This is a colony that fell apart. Mm -hmm. And you are returning to the AR core. You are the only two technically that uh, survived and so here you come back and get the lowdown on sort of what's going on man I love this animation yeah no so this is your first meeting with the AI who uh, I don't believe has a specific name although someone does give it a name later uh, I'm glad you made it back I assume you were at your usual lo lookout over the rift again you may have seen the worsening situation Did you, so what do you want uh, I noticed I rushed or no so it's an adventure game with multiple choice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. What do you, what do you want to pick? Um, I rushed. I rushed. We did kind of rush. Appreciate that. I won't waste time. Let's go over the situation. We may not get another opportunity. And so you get the lowdown. This terraforming planet, 27A, has unequivocally failed. Yikes. And so far, there are no survivors. You are it. Um, this facility was best in sector. Now, as you know, uh, Home office 15 insurance. years of work being undone. Wow. Yeah. Yep. No, set the stage. So, we have less than a month to survive. <laughs> okay, what? What do you want to go with? Silence? Swear? I like, like, what? Okay. What? What? Little John is the only survivor. Um, no, that's not true. Uh, so, I'm uh, afraid so at the current rate of decay. Epsilon Adrian, Adriani B will become dangerously uninhabitable in three weeks. So we have three weeks to get off this planet. We still have an escape ship in Colony A. It is structurally sound, and I believe it can help you fly. Uh, Let's go. Game over. We're done. We no, it's not that simple. Problem is, you need help to get the ship up and running. And uh, so this is where... Uh, four key systems. Yes. Uh, that this AI cannot repair, and you're not trained to deal with either. And this is where I think uh, a lot of the sci-fi sort of romance does come into play. Specifically that... You're going to use a hollow sim chamber to talk to backup versions of four people who sh can repair those. Systems. So this is where the alone with you comes from, because mm -hmm. you're alone, but you have someone there with you. This is the the more most interesting part to me of the dialogue. So you're going to be able to chat with these people that the AI is sort of describing here. And you're talking to a backup. They are aware they are a backup and uh -huh. that the original is dead. Um, some of them have trouble coming to terms with that. Some of them think they're a certain person, but based on evidence you may find, they may not be that person. So this, it sets up this really interesting dynamic where when you have these conversations, I don't know, I, I just couldn't help but get kind of wrapped it's up in it. It's an interesting concept. I mean, 
from from the AI point of view, you're helping someone escape when you're trapped being this non not even human, like a backup of a human. Yep, yep. And that and there that end sets up the con therefore, excuse me, sets up the conundrum. And um, perhaps a little romance. What what's her name? We want to go with. Oh, you can keep, let's keep it simple. Let's call him simple. Uh, yeah, simple? I just said keep it simple, so we'll keep it simple. Brendan works on our wikis team, and if this unlocks anything, I'm just going to say he has the <laughs> site. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Luckily, that I don't did think not I'm do that good. good. <laughs> okay, you've entered your name as simple. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Let's keep it simple. Excellent. I'm glad that we got that straightened out. Okay. It's like naming yourself Zelda and Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So we're going to check in. No, we're not checking in with the AR car. So let's go back to the main hallway. I like the little loading screens. Simple has a nice little uh, little gate, a running little jog. Yep. Skip it about. Yeah, I like the the scarf too. Nice touch. So let's go yeah, to it, I like quarters. The character design is really nice in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like a lot of the transitions. Even the doors, which you remember Resident Evil kind of made you hate. Slowly uh, opening yeah, the doors. Slowly opening doors. We're going to rest for a while. Every day ends with you resting. Uh, when you get the materials that the AI needs in order to set you up with the hollow sim version of that person, uh -huh. um, you have to do it late at night, and every every system powers down. Like it's really, really interesting, um, sort of the rules of this game, and and not not so much the game you play, but the narrative rules of how the story sort of sets I'm up. I'm now extremely intrigued because you took off your helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it's supposed to be you. Like I, I, I think that makes. But those sense. are those striking blue eyes. I guess it is me. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do have blue <laughs> eyes. I, I definitely know. How are you functioning today? Are you well? Uh, like I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Brendan, Brendan's in charge here. That's good. Your task will be easier if you are well rested. Please come see me again in the core at your earliest convenience. Um, now just one thing. At least early on in the game, there are other rooms. You're not allowed in them. Um, they're inaccessible in most cases. Like um, any true adventure game, you're kind of like gated from areas until you find or do the certain things. Yeah, but unlike in some adventure games, at least I've had the displeasure of playing, uh, I never so far, and I've put in some time, run into I don't know what to do with the materials I have situation. And, that, and that's yeah, an adventure that's, game thing that forever got on my nerves. That's the mark of a good adventure game then, when that <laughs> tells you, you oh, what to do. Not, yeah, no, when you're able to put it together, rather. Yeah. You don't want to just do what you're told. Okay, simple. Last night I scanned what's left of the colonists, uh, colonies in hopes of finding materials we can salvage. I think I found a few good leads. It would be best if we go to comms relay and find five communication devices we can use for the escape ship. Comms relay is where Winnie Laurier. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably get to talk to her little AI bot. Yes. Uh, so no, we're gonna we're gonna get the pieces, the comm pieces, and then we'll be allowed to talk to her at night. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first person we're gonna get to chat with. So let's just run out. We're gonna head on over. Uh, so we're gonna go to the comms building. Shuttle bay. It's a little bit spooky. And we're off. Yeah. So. Oh, nope. look at this map. Yeah. Um, very. Is that it? Yeah. Comms me relay. Of, the map reminds me of something. Yeah, I love this little sequence. It does it every time. Uh, these are the little hints and things that remind me of. Uh, sort of some of the, the cooler adventure games that I grew up always hearing about, mm -hmm. um, but I was never the adventure game guy, you know, whereas it sounds like you've played a, a lot. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's been so many, like, good ones that were different, like Grim Fandango, mm -hmm. Throttle, like, everyone had their own, like, little mark and had a little niche of, like, we're, yeah, this yeah. one's Maniac really, Mansion. Yeah, like, a really good greatest. comedy, really good narrative story, really good puzzles. Yeah. Uh, and this one now has romance as well. Romance sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious of how you would romance a hologram. Kind of like uh, her? <laughs> I think that's that's Fall. kind of it as well. Um, oh, boy. From here, I can sense damp. Uh, probably smells like an old puddle. Increasingly, the increasing acidity of this planet's rain. Oh, good. Acid rain. Everything. Everyone loves acid rain. Yeah, everybody loves acid rain. Uh, so... The rift is harmful to you. Looks like the elevators are partly affected, so they're only going to go one floor at a time. What All if right. you're a hologram too and you didn't didn't, didn't know it? Just pull uh, the game right there. Good question. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna scan this. So scanning's easy, and you find a standard issue field notebook. Uh, but you also learn <sighs> humans enjoyed writing on paper. That seems rather inefficient. <laughs> but I suppose uh, textility is important. Classic AI. Yeah, always got something to say. 
Okay, so this is, uh, you stumble across a story uh, here uh, involving two characters, Paula and the Dark, that someone wrote. Uh, you go into more on that later. And so this is uh, where sort of the gameplay starts out, where it's a lot of sort of exploring an area, mm -hmm. finding uh, these clues, putting them together, taking in sort of the ambient environments for what they are. Um, so we're going to go to Terminal Room 2 and see what's in here. Inspect the broken terminal. Let's go with that. Interesting. Oh, we found some. So this is an unlit portable lamp. Okay, we need those. Yeah. For lamping things. Yeah. It's not really for us. It's more to tell us that somebody here uh, used it for something, which I, I don't want to spoil too much because obviously I've, I've kind of played ahead. Like I'd, There's right. definitely, this is one of those games where you do want to just sort of experience it uh, for yourself. And I think I went the wrong way. Um, what else can you go here? Oh, oh there's a little thing there. Yeah, there's something here. Series of torn pages. Uh, also, another part of the story. Um, and when you read the story writer, it is it is quite interesting to bring this up <laughs> as uh, as part of it. Obviously, I mean, hint, we're here searching for specific things. Yeah, that's true. I assume there's more. Maybe you'll find more pages. It's interesting, though, isn't it? What do you think? Is sure is. I like stories. Okay. We'll read the rest of the story with time. It's kind of like sub sub objectives within your main thing you're also finding out more about the people who used to live here yep exactly um i missed the door so i'm gonna go upstairs oh no we're going just up and down one floor keep, at a time yeah keep turn. going okay okay Ooh, slippery no do you need we're, any help no, we don't need no stinking hints you're very resourceful simple <laughs> you're very resourceful simple that's right, our name is simple. I was like, what is that? <laughs> uh, if you need a reminder of what you're doing, just press L2 and I'll help. Okay. That's good to know. We're not taking the next elevator. It appears to be locked. Okay, let's go out here. And Are those books. beds? It looks like a bed. A small pile of physical books. All colonists were issued data pads with e-reading abilities, but I suppose that wasn't terrible like it. And you can see notes in the margins. W. Yeah, W uh, most likely is, uh, I think, the person we're coming to see. Um, yeah. Or the person that we're getting sort of the information for or on. All right, we're done here. Upstairs, let's do it. I want to go up. Yeah, so um, you'll, you'll scout these locations mm -hmm. and, again, really enjoy the, the sprite and sound work. Like, I have to say... Um, yeah, it's so hard to find your niche, especially when you're making uh, like smaller titles. Like, how do you stand out in a crowd? And I think this is a really nice way to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's not it's not like frame for frame, just like an old adventure game. It's it's something deliciously new, while you can see hints of, of, of previous games in the style. Yeah, yeah, and sort of you know the inspirations and whatnot. And that's always fun to to observe and take in. All right, let's go to the condo room. It's going to yeah. blow any day now. We found it. Good All job. components. I need uh, for now. You finished here. So now we got to take the shuttle back. We did it. You look at you. <laughs> I'm trying to accelerate death on us all. I wanted to give you some, some sense of urgency. Oh, is that it? Sass? You can't be dilly-dallying. <laughs> <laughs> you should totally be the AI uh, voice of this. Uh, you should be the voice I of this AI. do it. Yep. Heavy down. All right, we're going to run back, and I just want to show you the start of a conversation. Okay. Uh, we're not going to we're not gonna do much more after that. Uh, but just a reminder for you folks, Alone With You comes out on August 23rd. For this both PS4 and PlayStation Vita. And Vita. And Vita. That's right. Um, so you should check that out. And we're on our way. I like to move this forward. You can take your time. Oh, you can move it? I didn't even yeah, know that. I'm That's so cool. That. Yeah, it's really small little touch. Very cool. And I, I really like this game's atmosphere and its look. Um, it's a nice game to play on a rainy day. Yes, absolutely. So, now we're back. And now we have to turn in the information. Okay. So, for processing, essentially. And then we have to go to bed. So that late at night, the holosome chamber will get switched on, and you'll have your first conversation. 
So I always like love that thing about uh, like sprites shrinking the d as you go towards the horizon. Yep. So what the, the adventure games always did a good job of that. Yep. All right. So they're already working on helping you, but due to the current limited availability of power and processing cycles, the chamber's a little shaky. This is in regards to the AI backups that are uh -huh. trying to help and you get out of here. I got an awesome stable enough I'll call for you. Okay. Yep. So we have to go to sleep. I found it interesting because this is the only time, too, during these conversations that the AI is not with you. And so it just had... Uh, what I love about this so far is that it sets up a lot of questions in my mind for what is really happening here. Mm -hmm. um, how, you know, in some ways, uh, just because, you know, in most movies you're trained just not to trust the AI. Yeah. Like, should you trust them? Um, but then also, can you trust the advice of a backup, someone who's no longer with you? All right. So, final adjustments were made, and we are headed over to the spooky. first. Yes, very spooky. Yeah, and everything is shut down and ah, off. That's real spooky. Yep. Just going to run over. And we're going to go over to our first hollow sim before we sign off. All right. So, thank you for coming. The chamber will only work at night when other systems are powered down. It's a limitation of our current situation, I'm afraid. Hmm. This also means that I'll be on a low-powered mode, too, so you'll be on your own in there. I won't be able to see or hear what oh, happens. Oh, that's really strange. So I that feel like that's an important detail. I thought so as well. So the time you get in the chamber will be strictly between you and whoever you're seeing that day. In the morning, the holograms will sync their data and ideas with me. Uh. So in some ways, she's getting, uh, or the AI, is uh, it's not a she, uh, is getting the uh, information. That can Tonight, you'll meet with Winnie Laurier uh, for the first time. Remember these holographic recreations. Uh, they're based on data backups I kept for each key member of the colony. They are, in effect, the very same people. However, after the Rift event broke off communication with other parts of the facility, I lost track of these people. I have no longer been able to keep them up to date, which is another interesting sort of construct about all this. Hmm. Some of them are very touchy about their situation. Just enter the chamber, use the control station within, and we'll get this moving. Okay. See ya. See ya. Indeed. Let's hope that these visits prove fruitful. All right, going in. All right, ready for this? Let's do it. Just put on your Again, Hollow rift. Sim. And we're going in for the first time. And here she is. Now I know you want to know what happens, I but do, sadly, Jose, I do. We got to go. This is Alone With You, coming to PS4 and PlayStation Vita, August 23rd. Make sure you check it out. Sci-fi, exploration, romance, a very interesting narrative setup. And for holographic everything... Holographic, romance. Holographic and romance, keep it right here at IGN.